Hello, welcome to another new video. Um, my name is Frankie, I live in Cornwall and I have Crohn's disease and an ileostomy. This is a week in the life of medical appointments. So this is my infusion week. So at the moment I'm currently sat in the car park at my GP, um, ready for my blood test, which is at six. It is currently about quarter to six. Um, so I'll probably go in in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to wear my mask. I'm not sure whether we need to still. I know some rules have changed for NHS. Um, so I'm going to wear it and then just see what happens, I guess. But I think I'd rather wear it than not wear it, to be honest. Um, especially with my infusion being on Friday and I've got a test for that. Um, I have to do an actual flow test now instead of PCRs, which is a huge relief because I hated doing the PCRs. <laughs> anyway, so today I've got my blood test. I have to have pre-infusion bloods. Obviously, they need to check that everything's okay. Um, they also need to double check my levels before I have the infusion because obviously that monitors to see how well it's working. Um, I also have to have my iron monitored because I am severely anemic most of the time. Um, the amount of times I've nearly fainted is a little bit embarrassing and that's all due to my anemia. So yeah, so I need to go and have these bloods done and then it's hearts because it's Tuesday. So I've got hearts. I'm annoyed really because my bloods are at six and that's what time I should be at with the juniors. So hopefully, I'm hoping if I go in early, they might have had people not show up, which does happen a lot. Um, I'm hoping, yeah, if I go in early, then they may be able to squeeze me in early. I know the likelihood of that is still rather slim, but I think it's worth the worth the risk. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop filming now because there's more people coming around and I don't wanna look weird. So I will see you in a bit. Thought I'd just update quickly before I go to bed. It's quite late, so I'm in the in the bathroom. Um, blood test went well, ish. Um, she wasn't very comfortable doing my bloods because of how some of my veins are. Um, my usual phlebotomist wasn't there, so lovely bit bruised now, and I'm sure my arm is going to be feeling a bit dead tomorrow. Uh, rehearsal was great. I loved it. I love the Hearts Tuesdays. So they're great fun kids are sounding amazing it's just lots of fun i love it so yeah i forgot to also say i'm having my is it my fourth or fifth vaccine i don't even know what number i'm on now i feel like i've had four um yeah i've had four i think i've had my first second my third dose and my booster dose yes yeah, so it's my fifth dose but my fifth covid vaccine on thursday because I'm obviously in the immunosuppressed category. Um, so that's super exciting that I get to have that done. Yeah, Thursday before rehearsal, so hopefully I need to make sure I take paracetamol and that kind of stuff beforehand, so I'm not feeling like rubbish. Um, yeah, so that'll be the next thing you see, I guess, because that's the next hospital or doctor appointment I have this week. So shall see you when I've had my fifth dose. <laughs> Just thought I'd do a cheeky little uh, bruise update as, as it's now the next day since I had my blood test. I don't think I ever bruised that badly from a blood test. That is mad. <laughs> just well, just wanted to update with that, really. Um, got my COVID vaccine tomorrow, so I uh, shall see you then. Just sat in the car waiting to go in for my um fifth jab. It definitely is my fifth. I've just checked my little on the cards. Um, Dad said he had the um Moderna. I think he said Moderna. Um. So I'll be intrigued to see what I get because I've had the um, what's it called Pfizer one every single time. Um, so it'll be interesting to see like what they give now compared to what they're giving out um, earlier in the year. Because I had my first vaccine on the 15th of January 2021. And then I had my last one on the 27th of January 2022. So it's been a while since... Yeah, it's been about six months. So that, I wonder if that's what they're doing then. Um, I was chatting to Ash about it yesterday because um, I've got to pick him up in a bit for Oliver rehearsal. Um, and he was saying that he hadn't even heard of the fact there's going to be even more because I think he's only had two doses. Then his booster, whereas I've had um, two doses and two boosters. And like, Ash only had his booster in February because we were travelling to France. And we weren't sure what the rules were going to be regarding boosters and that kind of stuff. So he was a little bit panicked because um, he had his... Basically, we both had COVID in August last year. 
so he had to delay having his um, second jab done um, which obviously then meant there was a delay in getting his booster done it'll be interesting to see what happens for people that aren't in the like immunosuppressed and like um, over a certain age category I've got all of a rehearsal tonight I've got my um, Pandora clay box um, with ginger earrings in I'm so proud of Ashley like I thought this is I literally they came yesterday and I've worn them both days I'm gonna stop rambling now because this isn't supposed to be about all that other stuff it's supposed to be just about my appointments this video so I'm gonna stop rambling and um I will see you once I've had my job done I've just re-watched back that clip I just filmed and I realized I never paid attention to the fact I've got some random stuff in my car we had um, Oliver props collection last night so I've got a um, random pretend slab of meat in here and Ashley's birthday present which I'm going to give him in a minute when I see him because this is his birthday tomorrow and uh, I'm rubbish at keeping presents a secret I just know he's going to absolutely scream when he opens his gift but yeah that's that explains that random um, thing behind me <laughs> just in case anyone goes okay i know she's weird but what has she got in her car that's what done and i had pfizer so um win-win um it's interesting cause she said it's kind of a lot like a bit of a lottery with which one you get so i'm trying to also get in the car at the same time um yeah, she said it's a bit of a a lottery with which one you get so haha -ha, dad i got the pfizer right let's go pick up ashley's feet and i've got another little card to add to the collection so i've got three so they'll go in my my purse but i need to go because i don't want to be late happy Good news is I don't have COVID, so it means I can go for my infusion today. Okay, so I need to prove that I'm COVID negative. So I need to take a photo or they take it with me. I mean, I could take it with me, I suppose. Um, but I have taken a photo. Uh, oh, it's just so much easier doing this. So obviously I've now had a negative result, which means I can go in for my treatment. Um, so I'm gonna just quickly pack what I wanna take with me. Um, it's hot today. I'm hoping what I'm wearing is gonna be all right. Cause it does get a bit chilly in there cause obviously air conditioning and that kind of stuff um so i've got my cardio on, but i've got a first top on so if i do want to take that off then that'll be quite cool um let's just figure out where i can prop you so seeing as i'm all negative it means i can pack my bag um so i'm gonna use this one which is a lounge fly mo poppins bag which is gorgeous that ashley got me for christmas um so this is what i took to disney so this is literally in my disney bag at the minute and there it's just a roll on deodorant which i'm going to take with me um i'm also going to take my purse obviously because i need to pay for parking yep even though i'm in for treatment i still got to pay to park my negative latty flow a bottle of body spray this is just a honey dukes sweet one i got for christmas a couple of years ago my headphone headphone earphones i've got a little bluetooth set this will come with me um i did have some apple ones but the cat may have chewed those. The only thing I can't put in there yet is my iPad because I've got some stuff playing on it um, for the minute, but that's it. That's everything I'm taking with me. I used to take so much stuff that I never used and it was just completely pointless. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fill my drinks bottle up as well. So I've got a drink to take with me. Yeah, that's it. It'll be interesting to see what's gonna happen when I get there because it's a completely different setup now. Um, I think they're having more chairs and stuff available in the room because you don't have to social distance as much now in the hospital. I'm gonna take my mask with me, but I don't ever need to wear it. It's those little things that I'm like, don't really know what the, what the rules are. Yeah. Uh, post jab, my arm hurts. That's the point right now. I can't think what else if I need to update you on really. I think that's it for a minute. Uh, I shall see you at some point, either before I go to the hospital or after my appointment. But yeah, that's obviously what you'll see next, so. This is my hospital OATD. These are just a pair of Lucian Yak trousers and they are so comfortable. 
and because it's a bit warm today I thought actually it'd be quite nice to wear some nice trousers so um that's what I'm wearing it's a little mental to think that I've literally just been sat in the hospital for just over four hours it does wipe me out sometimes and I feel like today is one of those days where it's like fully wiped me out I'm just gonna go home and have a lie down now um and I'll have a chat with you later yeah before I have a shower and just get myself all calm and ready for bed because I'm quite tired yeah so I thought I'd I thought I'd finish off the video um by just saying that I was in Trillis for four hours today so that was fun it's so strange sometimes how it varies they weren't overly busy with patients but the complexity of the patients was what caused delays and they were very apologetic and I never I never want them to apologize because they're just doing their jobs like they are busy they are heroes um I've always said it the ones who work at MDU are brilliant um they always look after me they're always so lovely uh, so yeah, I was in there for probably an extra hour or so than I would normally be. It's fine though, I don't mind being in there for that much time, but I do get completely wiped out by it when I'm sat there for that long. I also, for the first time in ages, didn't need a wee halfway through, which makes things so much easier because it's such a faff having to unplug myself, go to the toilet, I have to ring the doorbell again to go in because I've got to ring a little doorbell. I wore my mask the entire time, you have to in there. Um, I didn't ask, but everyone was, so I just assumed that that's one of the departments that have to have masks on the whole time. Then the lateral flow, because I'd taken a photo, all I had to do was show the nurse the photo of my lateral flow, even though I did have the lateral flow with me. But yeah, she was happy to take just the photo. Uh, so that was good news. Um, bear with, I'm just gonna start uploading this other video whilst I am doing this. Uh, so yeah, going back to what I was saying, um, my treatment for anyone who does wanna know, is called Infliximab. I've been on it for nearly five years. It'll be five years in October, November, I think. I can't think which month it was. It was around that time that I was put onto it. So yeah, five, five years nearly of going into Trilisk every six or eight weeks, depending on how my levels are doing. At the minute I'm on a double dose and I'm in every six weeks. Um, I don't know if that's gonna change. It works the way it is. And I always seem to dip in levels as soon as we change back to the eight week. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see if anything does change with that. I'm trying to think what else would be useful to know, to be honest, about infusion days. They're tiring. They really are. That's the reality of it. I sit and watch my iPad the whole time, pretty much. There's not really much more I can say about it, to be honest. But that's that's it. That's my last hospital appointment, medical appointment for the week. So I'm going to leave this video here. And I hope you all have enjoyed watching and experiencing a little bit of what my kind of normal medical week looks like on a day when I've got to have blood tests and my treatment um so yeah I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of an insight into what it's like I do wish I could film more in the hospital but because obviously there's other patients around um I'm not allowed to I've never asked I don't really want to but um yeah I just, it's just something I wouldn't feel comfortable doing so you'll just have to stick with me having a little chat afterwards. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.